So Saturday, I was talking to my daughter and Brett, and I said, this was December the 21st, and I said, I'm going to propose that we do something, but I'm going to propose that we lie to your mama. And Marathon said, what do you mean, Papa? I said, I think she's living for Christmas. Let's tell her that tomorrow. It's Christmas. We'll get Atticus and Aaliyah and they'll be able to open up a couple of presents. But Mary Jane will think it's Christmas. And Mary Thin said that Brett, her husband, they thought it was a good idea. We talked to the many kids and said, okay, we're going to play that tomorrow's Christmas. And you both get to open a couple of presents with the name. <laughs> Keep your others until Christmas, but you're going to put up a couple of presents tomorrow. And so, Nanny will think it's Christmas. So, this was on the 22nd. Her granddaughter Leah couldn't get here till later. I had to bring, I had to go get her. And I brought her here to the house, and she had to leave after 1 o'clock. So, we had, you know, between that 11 30 and 1 o'clock time frame. And Mary Jane, uh, she sat up and watched them open presents. And when they were done opening them up, they went over to her and gave her a hug and said, we love you, Nanny. Merry Christmas. And she said to them, I love you too. Merry Christmas. Well, then she laid down. The kids went and played some, and I laid down with her. This is about 1 o'clock. I laid down with her. She was laying on her left side, looking at me. I'm laying on my right side, looking at her. One hand's holding the hand and my left hand's just rubbing her face. <sighs> and I lay there thinking, God, what a beautiful wife you can have. I lay with her like that for over four hours. And it was right at five o'clock. My dogs that love their mom are still here. When I cry, they get upset. I lay there with her for over four hours, and Marathon was in the living room. And it's probably, I don't know if I don't know if it's 20 yards from my bed. To uh, the living room, to where the seat is, that I would go sit in. So I got up. Mary Thin's getting ready to come in. I got up. One problem with the beard is getting hair in your mouth. <laughs> Not been able to get it. I got up. Oh man, I need to clean this. Walked over to the uh, side of the bed where she was on. I have this oil that's called the Exodus oil. Thank you. And it comes out of the, it's a recipe out of the Bible. And I would, uh, I would get it and 
I've got a little spray bottle squirt several drops in my hand, rubbing my head. And I would anoint Mary Jane and rub it on her head and pray with her. I did that every day. And uh, I got up and walked around the bed and sprayed the stuff on, rubbed it in, and rubbed it on her head. And I prayed. I said, Oh, dear God. Thank you for my beautiful wife and the gift of love that you gave me and her. And then I said, Honey, I want you to know I love you. It's okay. I've done some checking. She was always concerned about me. I've done some checking, and it looked like I was going to be okay financially for a couple of years. And I said to her, Honey, I love you. I've done some checking. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be all right. And I bent down and I kissed her. I walked out of the bedroom and Marathena came in. I didn't even have time to sit in the chair. And Marathena says, Papa, Papa. She quit breathing. I went in back in the bedroom right away and she was gone. But before I dance with Jesus, I want to dance.